Hey guys, today we're using our Vitamix to get rid of those extra apples that we picked at the orchard. Here we go. First one, we're gonna make apple juice. Mm. It's actually really easy to make apple juice in a Vitamix. Take four apples, you can blend everything but the apple seeds. Those are actually poison for you. Don't blend the apple seeds. So if you have one of those handy apple slicer tools, use that or just cut the apples into four or five pieces. We'll throw them in the Vitamix with about a half a cup of water, put the lid on and we're gonna slowly ramp to variable speed 10. You shouldn't have to use a tamper here to push everything down into the blade, but if you do, you can use it just a couple times to get things moving around. 30 seconds should be enough. At this point, you can pour it out and drink whole food apple juice. Kind of tastes like... It's like um, liquid applesauce. But that's not what we're looking to do. We're looking to make genuine pressed apple juice. So take those blended apples, put them into a couple of cheesecloths, or we're using the nut milk filtration bag that we have. Strain it to get rid of all that nutritious pulp, and now we have the freshest, most delicious apple juice you've ever had. This stuff's amazing. You'll see pretty quickly that the color goes from a bright green to starts to get kind of brown. If you want to preserve that green color, add a little lemon juice. Seriously, this stuff is so good, and pretty crazy to see that four apples only gets you about one 12 ounce cup of apple juice. So if you pour yourself a cup of apple juice, you're basically eating four apples without any of the dietary fiber. Like, it's good. It's a nice treat. If we were going to serve it to our baby, we'd water it down quite a bit. But we're adults, so we can handle the concentrated apple juice, not made from concentrate. And we also have the option of making apple pops. You can put that fresh apple juice right into the popsicle molds. Or if you want to get real saucy with it, add a little vanilla vodka. Next thing we can make is applesauce. This is so easy and so much better than anything you can get in the store. Super easy, guys. Applesauce and a Vitamix. Take eight apples, more or less if you like. Peel them, core them, and slice them. For a team, we did this together. Shaw was using a paring knife. I'm using a peeler and one of my favorite kitchen tools, that apple slicer. The destination's the same. You waste a little less using the peeler and the apple slicer. And something about using the peeler is actually oddly satisfying. Either way, we'll throw in a teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of maple. Don't really need it, but it gives a kind of a more of an autumn feel. Top on, we're gonna blend for about 15 seconds on variable speed five. A little more if you like less texture, a little less if you like more texture. If you want, you can serve this raw, raw applesauce. Good to go. It's gonna have all those nutrients preserved, or you can make it home style. Throw it into a large pot and over medium heat for 10 minutes, stir it around. Get excited because your whole house is gonna smell like cinnamon applesauce. Wonderful. And throw it in the fridge. This stuff can last a week. Mmm, homemade applesauce, so good. All right, next, we're gonna make an apple pie smoothie. This is so easy and so good. We'll add one cup of almond milk, quarter cup of rolled oats, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one whole frozen banana, a couple of apple cored and peeled, one pitted date, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and between one and two cups of ice. Everything's in, top on, we're gonna blend on variable speed 10 for about 30 seconds. If you have a smoothie setting, use that. You know, this is one of those smoothies where you, you gotta close your eyes to drink it because it doesn't look like what it tastes like. This looks like a vanilla smoothie, but it tastes like apple pie. If I put an apple next to it, you might start to think it tastes like apple. We'll put a little cinnamon on top, but as this one is so, so good, such a treat. And last one, guys, we're making apple cinnamon cake. This is a family recipe that we've modified over the years. I'm going to pass it to Shalva. Hi, guys. So this is my family's old school apple cinnamon cake recipe. We make it every year for Rosh Hashanah. I've probably been making some version of this cake for the last 25 years. So we're going to use about four or five medium-sized apples. We're going to chop them up, but we're going to keep the skins on. So we're just going to core them. If you are hand chopping, about a quarter inch cube is the best size for you. If you're using your Vitamix, you can use the tamper on about level four or five, and that will get you some pretty small pieces. We tried again using the wet chop method, which actually... <laughs> <laughs> gave us better results. So that's just filling your Vitamix container halfway with water and then pulsing on a very low speed like one. Um, that gets you kind of the texture that we're looking for. The cubes are really the best, but if you're trying to save time, use the Vitamix. Once you have chopped your apples, throw them in a bowl on the side and then we're gonna start our wet ingredients. So our wet ingredients are two cups of applesauce, a half a cup of any oil that doesn't have a very particular 
particularly strong flavor. So we use sunflower. If you're a whole food plant-based person that doesn't use oil at all, you can sub and use more applesauce here so that it's an oil-free cake for you. Um, then we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla and we're gonna blend on variable speed 10 for 15 to 20 seconds. You just wanna make sure that everything is mixed in all together. Then you're gonna add your dry ingredients. So three tablespoons of ground flax meal, one cup of brown sugar, and then you're gonna use three cups of flour. You can make any combo of flours here depending on your personal preferences. This year we used two cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of almond flour. You're gonna use one teaspoon of baking soda to help it rise, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of cinnamon. It feels like really a lot of cinnamon going in, but that really is the main flavor. It's an apple cinnamon cake. So two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of cinnamon has been kind of our best mix so far. If you're using the Vitamix, you're gonna ramp it up to 10 and blend until all the ingredients are combined. You might need to use your tamper. Just make sure not to overmix because an overmixed cake doesn't set the right way. So make sure everything is all mixed together and then scrape down the sides a little bit before you pour it out. So you're gonna pour that mixture onto your apples and mix it together. This is one of those cakes that looks best in a bunt pan. <laughs> um, bunt Bunt pans were actually invented in my hometown of St. Louis Park, Minnesota, Nordic Ware. Fun fact for you. So you can use a big bunt pan or mini bunt pans. Either way, it needs to be greased up because you want it to pop out in that perfect shape. So if you are using a big one, you're gonna bake this for 50 to 60 minutes and then put a toothpick in the middle to see if it comes out clean or if it's still very battery. If it's still battery, put it back in in five to 10 minute increments until it feels done. The mini buns take closer to 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven at 350. A little trick that we like to do is to sprinkle a mixture of cinnamon and sugar on the bottom of the pan so that there's a little bit of a crusty top. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes I also do it after it comes out of the oven, cinnamon sugar mix on top. For this particular cake, undercooked is better than overcooked. You don't want a dry cinnamon cake, then it tastes like something your grandma would make. I guess this is something my grandma would make. It's probably her great great grandma's recipe, but under cooked is better. It will be more delicious that way. Be patient. It needs to cool to come out of that pan. And if you like videos like this, hit the thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye guys. Thanks. Thanks.